Welcome to 2020 guys. First video and as you can tell the sun's shining so I'm not in England. I've escaped to the Mediterranean for some diving over this weekend and this might give you a bit of a clue where I am. Hello Daniel. Ciao Giuliano. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. You? Yeah, ready? Ready? Si yeah. parte? Yes. As a Christmas present, my wife bought me flights to go diving, so I went to Rome to visit Giuliano. I'd never been to the Med in the winter, so I was expecting 30 meters visibility and sunshine. I was diving out of Giuliano's rib with Giuseppe and Jacopo. Uh, today we are looking for spigola. Spigola means uh, sea bass. I couldn't help but to think we were slightly overgunned just for sea bass. The weather wasn't in our favour and it was due to blow pretty hard by mid-morning. These villas here are built on ruins from the Roman Empire over 2,000 years ago. The wind picked up much sooner than expected. Good conditions, Giuliano? I don't know. We you see. have to see. Ooh. Hoping, yeah. We dropped Jacopo off in the water first, then we headed to another section of the coastline to begin our hunt. The sea bass live right up against the rocks in the washy areas. Unfortunately, due to all the wind overnight in the past few days, this stirred up the bottom immensely and there was weed all through the water column. It made it very difficult to see. The visibility is about two meters, two, three meters. I've seen a couple <laughs> small sargos in about one or two meters of water in amongst the weed, but yeah, didn't shoot them. Just got to keep on hunting here. Get to the bottom, make some noise. See if we can find some sea bass, sargos, anything like that. But it's one of the best things about the Mediterranean. It always looks good wherever you are. I decided to move out a little bit deeper into six or seven meters of water in hopes of being able to see a fish. Aiming from behind when a small sargo is swimming away from you is always a difficult shot. Just had our first little session. No fish, quite dirty visibility. Giuseppe hasn't seen any fish, Jacopo hasn't seen any fish. What's the plan from here, Giuliano? We will uh, try in another place uh, and hope that uh, the situation uh, is different. As usual, just keep trying. But sometimes happen many days like this one. Um, normally when uh, you don't see nothing in a place, uh, you don't see nothing also uh, in all the area. That's very encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> the scenery is really good though. Beautiful rocks, beautiful little peninsula. Very similar to hunting Mulloway in Australia, up in the white water. Not something that I've done for a very long time. Lots of weight on the belt, quite uncomfortable, but that's what you have to do in two to five meters of water. Giuliano has been diving around these parts of the world for over 30 years. I dropped him in on a little secret spot that he thought might hold some sea bass. Giuliano's just called for the boat. Hopefully he's got a sea bass or something, or any sort of fish really. No opportunity. No good. Uh, it's totally black, the water. <laughs> it's impossible to see nothing. Uh, 
less than one meter. This is definitely not the Mediterranean I'm used to. There's actually waves here today. The visibility is quite low. Normally visibility in the Mediterranean is 20 meters plus easily. I have absolutely no idea how, but Giuseppe managed to shoot three fish. Hey. Hmm. Two mullet and a sargo. No spigola. <laughs> no spigola. By late morning, the weather had significantly deteriorated, but we still had a few more spots left to try. Just moved to a different part of the island. Visibility is a lot better here. Just see different sargos around this rock. Went through a little bit of an overhang out to see them but they're a little bit small so might have another look around there then keep moving but yeah the weather's turned for the worst it started to rain i don't know what that means for fishing but the visibility is much better here with the improved visibility on this side of the island giuliano took me to an offshore pinnacle or pinocolo as he says As I approached the edge of the pinnacle, I could see there was a slight overhang under the rock. I returned to the surface, called for a torch, and headed back down, looking for a groper. There was no fish in the holes, but when I returned to the boat, Jacopo explained to me that this is a very popular fishing spot and everybody knows about this cave, so that's why there's never any fish in it. Good to know. As you can probably hear, the wind has picked up a fair bit, as expected. Just dived to Pinnacle, saw a few sargos on it, one really good sized one, but once again, too smart for me in the Mediterranean. And the boys have just jumped in looking for some barracuda or amberjack on this point here, but it's pretty ugly conditions. Giuliano has one nice sargato as well. In the shallows? Yes, aguato. Aguato. Yeah, bellissimo. Yeah. We had to pull the pin on the fishing today a little bit earlier than we would have liked to, but the wind was just way too strong for what we wanted to do and the visibility was pretty bad. So tomorrow, if the wind stays down, we're gonna head out to a wider island, but we don't really hold high hopes for the wind dying down. So if we don't get out tomorrow, we're gonna to look for some of these famed flamingos that are apparently around this area. Didn't really know if flamingos existed outside of Africa, but apparently they do. Not cooking any fish tonight. Everybody's a bit tired from getting flogged in the boat. So we're gonna try and find a nice little local restaurant somewhere around here. But see you guys in the morning and we'll decide what to do then. It's sunny day, it's a sunny day. So that's just something, I, I think, no? Because uh, boating with the sun is better than uh, boating with the rain. definitely improved overnight the visibility is about four or five meters which is quite nice haven't seen much this morning but got to keep cracking along this coastline up here see if we can find some sea bass or or sargos or, or maybe some mullet with the sun beating down i had to be careful not to expose myself out in the sunlight to the fish otherwise they would scatter immediately I remembered my time in Ponza and how I had to think about how I was diving, going down the rocks in the shadows to try and ambush the fish. I couldn't get the sargos off in the distance to come any closer to me this dive, so I returned to the surface, found a new gutter to swim down and had another go.
I didn't have the most stealthy approach on this dive, but with a little bit of repositioning and patience, the fish become curious quite quickly. I pop the Sargo on my belt stringer and head back to the boat to pick up Giuliano. Giuliano had found himself a nice sized octopus as well as a sharp snout Sargo, also known as a El Sargo Pizzudo. Eh? We snapped a throttle cable today. So we've had to come in a little bit earlier, but we got a few nice fish this morning. Not real big, but still pretty tasty. It's been a nice, nice day, good weather, and good company. The result of two days fishing in the Mediterranean, I'm responsible for only two of these fish, but it's a pretty nice, pretty nice catch we've got. Good fish to eat, Giuliano? Yes, yes, very good. Very good? The best is this one, uh, it's not very big. The taste is uh, fantastic. Yeah? Yes. Thank it's you. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking me out. Thank you, Giuseppe. Uh, it's been a beautiful trip. Better than England, because the sun shines. <laughs> we were very thankful that Giuliano had an auxiliary engine fitted to the boat, because he's been taking his boat all the way from Rome to Corsica in the summer, so for safety, he has the extra engine. When we got back to Giuliano's house, he used the fish frames to make a broth to cook the rice in for a fish risotto. We also had mullet carpaccio and some homemade wine from Puglia. I am well and truly ready for bed after a few red wines and that sago and mullet risotto. Absolutely delicious. I'll do a video on that another time about how to cook a fish risotto because it was absolutely sensational. Ready for bed, early flight tomorrow to London, back to work. Mediterranean, as always, difficult fishing, but I love the challenge. I love getting out and seeing new places. And wherever that next new place will be, I'll see you there.